What is going on, Governor? It's Just Cool here, and today we're gonna rock Eve of the Crusade Stage 3. We're gonna do Shadow Legion and also Garden of Infinity. There is so much going on right now. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies in Kingdom versus Kingdom, consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to have one of the hottest KVKs ever broadcast. You're not going to want to miss a beat. This is going to be a lot of fun. Right now, our kingdom is number two on the leaderboard. That's right. We're number two on the leaderboard. We are the underdog in this kingdom versus kingdom. Not the first time, probably not going to be the last time where we try to pull a huge win as the underdog. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Good to see you. This is going to be fun. An evening stream. An evening stream. Eve of the Crusade just hit. For those of you who are new to Eve of the Crusade Stage 3, there are going to be Marauder Forts that appear. You rally them and burn them down. When you do, everybody who attended gets points. A cool 10,000 points, to be exact. So if you've got five marches running around joining these rallies, you can do some pretty serious work and rack up a heck of a score. What's the best commanders for attacking a sanctum? Uh, probably Minutesau. Been a while since I've attacked a sanctum. All right, friends. So... Any moment, I expect Shadow Legion will begin. However, we've also got Garden of Infinity. I mean, there is just so much going on now in Rise of Kingdoms. It is astonishing. It is astonishing. We're going to rack up a bunch of points in this Marauder phase. We'll talk a little bit about how we do that, by the way. If I just zoom way out, it looks like the first rally's been set on a Marauder encampment. I'll probably join up with one of these groups, whichever one is looking the smallest. Probably going to be Team W Smash up over here. Looks like it could use some love. So that's where we're going to go. Let's send our troops home now and we'll make our way over. We're also going to send our restart. Restart? No, alt over. Groggy, what's going on, dude? What's going on? Let's start to send some of these accounts over. I actually have a second device, which is insanely helpful for this event specifically, where we're going to be playing our same account, but two different governors. Um, one is my main account, one is my farm. At the same time, one's an Android device, one's an iOS device. So kind of cool. You can kind of be logged into both at the same time. So you'll see here on the screen that I'm streaming that I'm about to port in, I am about to port in over by where W Smash is, assuming I can find a spot. Wow, it's really cramped over there already. I guess I could just use a targeted teleport, and that's totally fine. Yeah, there we go. So you're going to see, I'll just scroll over a little, you're going to see, bada boom, my farm account port right in. <laughs> And then I'll port my main in. As soon as I've got my gatherer back, we'll head on over. I'll be on in like an hour to do them forts, says Baby Shark, getting dinner. Indeed. Grab some food. We'll be here a while. I've still got to make all my presets for this fun event. Uh, we're going to make five fast-moving cavalry groups while also maintaining... You know, the group that we use for rallying, which is going to be Tao and Mina. Good afternoon. Hello. We had major success teleporting in mass, clearing an area like 50 in four rallies at a time, then teleporting to in a zone. Super cool. Sounds like a cool idea. We're going to teleport our way over here. We're just going to use a regular teleport because that's what is needed at the moment. Bada boom. And Team W Smash is lined up. Can you estimate your percentage of AP you'll use for pre-KVK versus past glory? 
Man, it's hard to say. We're going to get so much AP from people doing the forts in just a moment. I mean, it's going to be totally nuts. What is the light thing in your buff bar? This is from doing a barbarian keep. You do a barbarian keep every three days, you get some sweet rewards. Just we want to do Shadow Legion while we wait for forts. You down? Negan, sir, whatever you want to do. Cheers to you. Negan in the chat, by the way, listed as a moderator. He is king of the kingdom. King o the kingdom. I mean, you know, we share it with the folks as needed to get the job done, especially during KVK. It's a big job. I appreciate that Negan basically volunteered to, to take care of all of the king-related things. That lets me focus on other stuff, which is really quite nice. Any news on Ronnie? I do not have any news at the moment. I do not have any news at the moment. Uh, someone's requesting that I make a video for him. We did make a video yesterday on our channel. It's already been viewed more than 20,000 times in less than 24 hours. Um, and in that video, we promised that any ad revenue we make from that video we will give to Ronnie when he returns to content creation. So we're doing our part. We also referenced a bunch of Ronnie videos that we'd recommend you go check out. It looks like Shadow Legion has begun. Nice. You took my troops for a ride. Sorry about that, Vosera. <laughs> Guess I should have sent those home. Whoops. <laughs> uh, well, you could always teleport over. Teleport over to uh, the group over here. It's going to be a fine group. Looks like. Uh, I don't know. Is there is there a wave coming to my city? It doesn't look like it. Everybody else has some waves. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Shadow Legion. We should be doing the hardest difficulty. The hardest difficulty is probably what's about to happen. Hell difficulty, yeah. So there's Smash Squad Wolves. There's no longer, I believe, an individual rank, but there is an individual score, um, which if I get to the end of this thing, it kind of doesn't matter if I reinforced. Thanks, Chess Love from Japan. Cheers to you in Japan. Let's go send a march to reinforce my mini. We'll send some infantry. That seems like a pretty good pick. Bada boom. Drop those in there. What do I think is the best early game cavalry commander combo? Also for epic commanders. Um, so the best epic cavalry combo at the out of the gates, you probably should be working on Boudica and Pelagius as a really good pair. How would you defeat a player that has way higher power than you and keeps attacking you? Zeriel, you kind of like don't. Like you either catch them out of position, so you hit them with, you know five marches to their one, or you let them send their troops to die on your city if you've got a really solid garrison. But otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. This is Kingdom 75. Hello, Tyrone. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're getting this thing fired up. People reinforcing our cities. We're kind of waiting for some marauder forts to show up while we wait for that. Now is a really good time to get some presets going. For this stage of the event, we're going to use our barbing presets here. The first preset we're going to set up is going to be Mina and Sal. Um, and actually, I'm going to use Sal as the primary and Mina as the secondary. And this is going to be to launch rallies. And I'm going to do 100,000 Teutonic Knights. Boom. We'll start with 100k. We want to make sure that enough people can get into the rally, and I feel like the group we're in is going to be small enough that that's not going to be an issue. The second march we're going to use, we, we want to make sure we've got a Peacekeeper primary. Let's use a... Uh, we could start with Boudica. And as a secondary, I like the idea of using someone like Khan, who's going to give a lot of march speed. We'll start with 100,000 T4, confirm that. Now as the third slot, we're going to set up another Peacekeeper primary. We're going to use good old Lohar, and as a secondary, uh, Attila's got good march speed. 
We'll rock that out as the third preset. The fourth preset we're going to do is going to be a Belisarius primary. And the secondary, let's see here, can be, hmm, we could do Saladin. Seems reasonable. There we go. One last cavalry commander with march speed. And the last one, I feel like we're out of march speed here. We probably should distribute this a little bit better. Oh boy, Legion forces are on the move. I'm getting so many notifications. Um, I think we might end up having to just use the markswoman over here. And as the secondary, like, nobody here is going to give us march speed, unfortunately. Nobody's going to give us march speed. So we... Oh, let me just fix the volume. Holy moly. All right. But a boom. We've got a new member of the channel. The Sarah Man became a member of the channel. Thanks for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Let's get some hype emojis for Vasera. He's now got access to the green text by his name, so I can actually read it easily. He's got a badge showing how long he's been a member and all of the sweet emojis. I appreciate your becoming a member and supporting the channel. Whew. We got a lot to do tonight, fam. We got a lot to do tonight. For those of you just joining, we're getting our marches set up for Eve of the Crusade, uh, and we're still figuring out exactly what that optimal composition will be. I think we'll use by bars for now for the march speed when you break from combat. So we've got our five marches set up so that we can launch those rallies and rock the Crusader Forts, or not Crusader Forts, the Marauder Forts. In the meantime, we've got Shadow Legion going on, which is looking pretty crazy just when you zoom out on the map. Um, and in addition, we also have an event that I love to call Evil Candyland, that is the Garden of Infinity. We're going to do that too. We're also going to be playing two accounts at the same time. Oh, use Dragon Lancer. Yeah, okay. Dragon Lancer or Lancelot with Insight as a primary. Then you don't need a secondary. It gives a march speed and AP reduction. There we go. All right. What do we have here? We have a Dragon Lancer. I'd have to respect my Dragon Lancer. Um, but what Negan's recommending here is that I just go in and get Insight on a Dragon Lancer. And I could use him, and that would be a good bit faster. What I'm going to do for now is just make Dragon Lancer a secondary. Of course, how could I forget about good old Dragon Lancer? A classic, oldie but goodie. Bada boom. And we'll reset that fifth combo. I could get five more March Speed if I did use Dragon Lancer primary um, and the uh, Lancelot secondary, which would be a really solid choice. Folks are saying hi from 12.45. Hello to you. I'm farming 3,300 gems a day with the help of my significant other. That's funny, Gaurav. Nicely done. 3,000 gems a day is solid. 3,000 gems a day is solid. Vocera rocking the hype. Chiss did K96. Forget about KVK. No, I mean, I think I think they decided that their AP and speed-ups are better spent within Kingdom vs. Kingdom rather than the events leading up to it. So I think that's how that choice was made. Uh, request for the pre-KVK rankings again. Happy to do that. Here we are. The pre-KVK rankings. Lee Jacobson asking, would I create a video for best commander pairings? We have many of those videos. Just do a Google search for Chiskool commander pairing and you'll find a ton of stuff. What am I drinking? Chocolate tea. Chocolate tea is on the docket this evening. Is the main and mini on the same Google slash iTunes account? Uh, is the main... So both of my accounts, it's, it's one account... And I'm logged on to an iOS device and an Android device. That's kind of what's going on. And so I can be logged into the same account with two governor 
uh, like IDs, because it's two different cities, on two different devices. Shout out from Kingdom 1394. Hello, 1394. Should I use gems on Garden of Infinity or save them for Esong? I would say save them for Esong. Garden of, in Garden of Infinity, I call it Evil Candyland. I mean, we'll do Garden of Infinity, and you'll see how bad it is. It's pretty savage. It is pretty savage. Now, if we just get a look around here, I suppose I should have got a rune before I made my way over here. We got gold gathering, troop health, food production. I mean, I guess I'll just snag an attack rune while I wait. Don't see why not. I'm out of T1. Where did... Oh, my T1 must have gotten injured already. That's really funny. We are getting some injured troops, apparently, from this. It is hell difficulty, so I suppose that's not too surprising. We'll heal those up. What's better for free-to-play, T5 first or VIP 12? Um, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You need a lot more than the gems it takes to get to VIP 12 to get T5. T5 is going to be a long journey, my friends. It's a long journey. It took us like nine months, and we were spenders. So uh, we can see my mini over here. I'm, I'm pretty concerned for my mini in this event, not going to lie. I don't think I'm going to get very far. Um, I'm not even on Alliance territory, which is going to be kind of problematic. Um, yeah, my mini's going to get wrecked. You have T5. I do have T5. Max, or Marx, says, uh, oh no, it is Max. Is Guan is OP, don't you think so? Or maybe someone like Takeda is more OP? I don't think Guan is OP. I don't think Guan is OP. Is the 50% off in Garden of Infinity worth it? So the problem with the 50% off spin in Garden of Infinity, and, and let me just give you an example here. We'll do the free spin. Okay, so we went four spaces. Okay, so that was terrible. I got building speed ups. So now... For 325 gems, I can get one material chest, which is probably not worth it. I can land here, but it's going to cost you more gems to go again. If I land on wood, I'm disappointed. And any of these three spots, I'm actually really happy. I, I guess it's worth it, but you run the risk of having to spend more gems. And it, it's, not like, it's not like it's insane value or something, you know? It's not like it's insane value. Mark's woman is OP. I mean... She's pretty cool looking. Two. See, this is exactly the situation where, like, this is fine for me because I plan to roll again. But if you only had 325 gems to spend, that would be pretty awkward. So here we go. We'll rock a 650. And what do we get? Completely wrecked. Completely wrecked. We got a 2x direction change. This event finds ways to not deliver value every time I play it. It is astonishing. All right, well, we'll roll again. This time a two. All right. We'll make our way back around. Oh, good. A 2x multiplier. Now all I need to do is roll a six, and I'll have wasted 650 gems twice. So 1,300 gems of waste. There it is. There it is. We have already wasted... 1,300 gems. Can I get some likes on this video? Can I can I get some consolation likes for how wrecked I just got? Just drop a like on the video if you just saw me throw all my gems away for basically no value. I landed on the 2x, I landed on the reverse, and then I landed on the 2x again. God, that was so bad. And then I landed on the freaking gold die, which gives you nothing. Can can I get a consolation like up in here? <laughs> Gross. Oh my gosh. That was so savage. Ugh. So um now we're gonna roll the dice again. Now we're in the now, there's the advantage of the reverse is that it sets you up for some of the best gold dice in the game. This is one of those moments where it's like kind of almost one of the best gold dice in the game. I would rather kind of have this spot be in my sights though. So I'm going to rock a regular die hoping that I go here and then I could use the gold dice. Of course, I go much further than that. Okay. 
So now I want to use the gold die because if I land here, it gives me material chests. If I land here, it gives me material chests. Crossing my fingers, one or a two, one. Okay, well, could have been worse. <laughs> That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Wow, a hundred people just liked this video because of how bad my rolls were. Do I do I just have to get really bad rolls to get likes on YouTube? Is that is that what it is? Literally one out of four people who were watching the video were like, Chiskul, I feel bad for you, and hit the like button. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, please do not spam the chat. Holy bejeez. Attila5551 five, 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 or Saladin5551. Five, 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 Definitely Saladin5551. Five, 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 Definitely the Saladin among those options. What's the best legendary commanders to try and get if I'm 100% free to play? So I've made videos on this. I think Esong is a really good choice. Also... I mean, I'm definitely getting wrecked over here. My, my uh, farm account is going to get knocked out of this in no time. My farm, my farm is in trouble. We'll drop some more troops in there. No news from Ronnie. Who comes in the daily chest after Frederick? I'm pretty sure after Frederick... Wait, let me walk through this. It's Cao Cao, then it's Martel, then it's Sid, then it's Caesar, then it's Mehmed, and then it's Freddy, isn't it? Isn't that the order? And then it stops. Could I put Alexander on my walls? You could, but Alexander the Great's not so great for the wall. Thoughts on 258? Um, yeah, they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Almost as many points on the board as 115. And I haven't seen any drama come out of 258. So that's cool. Fred is the last one. Negan confirmed. Negan confirmed. Favorite commander? It's got to be Esong. Show us the OP Cleo Sundok full siege combo. Oh, geez. Uh-oh, my, my mini is in trouble. That mini is in some trouble. It's actually, I don't know why it looks like it's doing well in that fight. That's interesting. I don't know what happened there. It must have been an elite round that I was struggling against. Did you see what Baba said? No, did Baba say something in this live stream? Did Baba say something in this live stream? I definitely missed it if Baba said something. And I think, I'm pretty sure I've made him a moderator too, so it'd be hard for me to miss what Baba said. I'm using my iPhone mainly when I tried to purchase from my Android tablet. They told me I can't because it's not the device I'm usually using. I don't know how you get those restrictions lifted. I would reach out to support. I would reach out to support. Should I do any major preparations for Season 1 of KVK? Save up those AP. Save up those resources. Best epic commander pair for a center fortress defense? Um, you know, I would say you gotta have Sun Tzu. And then if you're getting a rally, man, I mean, in a perfect world, maybe Ulji Mundok. Sun Tzu, Ulji Mundok would be a solid pair. What's going on, Helmy? Better your gems than mine? Oh, God. Baba is most likely sleeping because he's in Europe. Indeed, that is the case. All right, so if we go over back to a ye old Garden of Infinity. Oh, geez. We'll, we'll keep doing this. It's not going great, but we'll keep doing it. Silver die. We did get two epic chests so far, and we just got wrecked on the reverse. So that's two 2Xs two that got wasted, one gold die, and two reverses, that's five times 650 gems of complete waste. 
You cannot heal your hospital if you're under attack, says Groggy. That is true. All right, we're going to rock the silver dice. A five. <laughs> I forgot that our direction got reversed. So now we really want to get a four. A four would basically be living the dream. No, a one. Now we need a three. If the random number is a three, no, way worse than a three. We got a six. Okay, so it's double rewards. Anything but a five would be fantastic. So here we go. Anything but a five. A one. Well, that is that does qualify as anything, and gold is good. Could I get a one, two, or a three? Basically anything but a four. We got a five. All right, well. All right, all right. It gives us another gold die at least. We'll keep going here. We got a six. 2x, oh, I thought we were landing on 2x rewards. 1, 2, or 3 is good. 5 or 6 is good. Just basically anything but a 4 would be great. 2. All right, anything but a 2 would be great. 1. Okay, anything, anything but a 1. You see the trend here? Anything but a 1 would be great. No! No! No, my gems, no. No, rip my gems, no. Oh, uh, why? Uh. Van PW says, lol, Chiskul, sorry we can't like two times for consolation. So if you just joined the live stream, welcome aboard. We're doing Shadow Legion. We're also doing... The Garden of Infinity. We're also doing Eve of the Crusade Stage 3. We've got so much going on in Rise of Kingdoms. There's no dull moments up in here. And uh, earlier I asked for consolation likes on the video because I got completely wrecked in the dice roll. And uh, here we are again. If you're enjoying this live stream, consider subscribing to the channel for daily Rise of Kingdoms content, where you can watch me spend my gems on things like the Garden of Infinity, aka Evil Candyland, and get no value whatsoever. 3x in the same place that offers no value. I know. Fam, I know. Tell me about it. A lot going on here. Ooh, look at that. Who's that Tian? Oh, dude, that AoE. That AoE hit the dude over there. Also, if, if they ever dropped... If they ever dropped, like, a full pattern, I would lose my mind. That would be amazing. But I doubt that they will drop a full pattern. That would be the dream. The dream is to get a full pattern drop from one of these suckers. And, spoiler alert, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Evil Candyland, indeed. <sighs> Fam. Oh, my God. Oh my god. And we're only on the 18th out of 25 on this event. My mini is getting a little bit rady racked. We've got the right commander pair in there, but like, yeah, it's just not amazing. Weekly wrecking in Garden. I'm pretty sure it's every other week for Garden of Infinity, right? Isn't it every other week? It feels like it might be every week. It's good to see you waste your gems. Stops us from wasting ours. Dude. Garden of Infinity is a dangerous, dangerous game, and we play it anyways. We got a two. All right, that's good. That's good. A one would be amazing. Oh, now now we can't get a one. Instead, we get building speed ups. All right, well, anything but a four. Anything but a four is going to be really good. Grady Smith, you've been noticed. Here we go. A one. Okay, anything but a three would be really good. A two. Okay. Okay. Anything but a one would be really good. I hate this game. Ooh, a four. Ooh, hey. Okay. Okay, that four was really good. Okay, that was really good. A little bit of value recouped there. A little bit of value recouped. Why is Sao Sao on my wall? Please don't tell me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I put my garrison captain somewhere else, and uh, Sao Sao went to my wall. So let's reinforce this, but maybe not with my garrison captain. How, how about that? How about that choice? How about instead of Charles Martel? How about not my garrison captain? There we go. That seems like a better pick, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're going to lose. We're going to be fine with Sao Sao on the wall. Right? It's not like we're losing. 
Where's the next wave? Where are you at? There. All right. Was I was I gonna lose that? No. Come on. We got way too many troops. Look at that. Now we got a garrison captain too. Pfft, please. Please. Why China? Um, China is a great starting civilization because you get Sun Tzu and five percent building speed. Feels like you're getting wrecked every week, dude. I do not do well in Garden of Infinity. It's just my reality. Now I'm going to rock the gold dice. We really want to get basically anything but a six. Anything but a six, but a four or a five would be amazing. So here we go. Two. Okay. Four X rewards. We have an opportunity here to live the dream. If we get a three, we are... Living the dream. So here we go. We're going to roll the dice. If we get a three, instantly we've recouped all our value in this event. Come on, baby. Two. Come on. Where is it going to go? It didn't even... Dude, it didn't even do my 2x multiplier. It didn't even do my 2x multiplier or my 4x multiplier. Dude, this event slays me. Someone is saying that Cao Cao is my secondary... No, no, no. It's not Cao Cao. We got Esong. We got Esong up in here. We got Esong. If I now I'm gonna open up my second device over here. We're gonna go look at my farm real quick. Make sure my hospital's not overflowing. And oh we're totally good. Only a thousand in the hospital. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Uh cool. Yeah, our, our restart or our farm is in good shape. How do you feel about the silent trial equipment piece? Um, silent trial's fine. Silent trial's fine. We can look at that later. We can definitely get a peek at that. In the meantime, in the meantime, let's keep going here. Let's keep getting wrecked. We got silver dice ahead of us here. We're gonna go, yeah, silver dice good. We gotta make our way back around. We rolled a one. Uh-oh. A three. Okay, three's not awful. Reason not awful. Richard or Esong? I'd say Esong. All right, five. I mean, obviously that's out of context, but you know, whatever. All right, we'll roll again. We got a four. Four is pretty good. We'll claim this. Boom. We're well on our way here. I hope I can leave my city during that event. Dude, this event is fun. All right, here we go. Roll the dice again. I think we're okay. Whew. We're barely okay. That was really close. Now we're going to rock the gold dice. We have two gold dice. I feel very good about this. If we land here or here, we're living the dream. So we're looking for really a two or a six, and anything in between is fine. Two or a six. This is not. This could be a really good roll. So here we go. Rocking the gold dice. Six. Hey, I'll take it. Could be worse. Could definitely be worse. When are we going to get the Esong wheel? We're 91 days into the kingdom. Any day now. Lahai, any day now. Um, probably on Tuesday. Probably on Tuesday. What's the best commander for barbarians except Lohar? Uh, probably Boudicca is really good. Five. Five is okay. Two would be amazing. What do we got here? Six. All right, we're getting around fast. Although building speed ups kind of sucks. Uh, anything but a four. Anything but a four. Two. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so now we're back in the same situation here. It's time to rock the gold dice. Come on, baby. Cross those fingers. Drop a like on the video to give me some luck, if you don't mind. Here we go. Also, I'm pretty sure my, yeah, my restart or my farm is in trouble. Here we go. Gold dice. We want a two. We want a six. Anything else is fine. What do we got? Two. Four chests. Okay. 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 Y'all like the video and I got a better roll. So could I ask you again to like the video to hook me up with some luck? Cause like that actually kind of worked. That's definitely how that works, right? Like you hit the like button and it goes into the rise of kingdom systems from YouTube. And it's like, okay, hook them up with a better roll. Here we go. We're going to rock the gold dice again. We want a four or a five, four or a five would be amazing. And honestly, a two would be really good for YouTube because it's like, it elevates the stakes, you know? It's like very entertaining. So we'll say two, four, or five. Here we go. Three. Well, 
that's not what I was looking for. Okay, um, we have three silver dice left. Here we go. We want to get a two now. We're all in on getting a two. Can we do it? A five. No, we cannot. And now we want to get a two. A one. Okay, okay, okay. So now we want to get anything but a five with these last two rolls that we have. Here we go. A three. Okay, that gives us a gold die. That's fine. Uh, now we do it one last time. Anything but a two. A one. All right. All right. So out of that deal, I feel like we made out okay. It definitely could have been worse. I do like getting material choice chests, so that's good. Let's zoom out here and see how we're doing. Oh, my farm is going to die. My farm is definitely, yeah, it's burning. <laughs> my farm is now burning. I'm going to go onto my other device and put out the fire on my wall. Repair. Okay, fire is out. Wait, now it's burning again. What? Oh, I didn't extinguish the fire for gems first? Give me a break. I can't believe it makes you pay gems to extinguish your wall. That's weird. I gotta pay gems for that? Whatever. I paid the gems. Hey, Chess, I'm a low spender and plan on spending all my resources and speed ups in one go. Which event should I go all out on? Man, that's a tough one. Maybe one of the building or research days is a good plan. Let's look how our individual points are doing in the Shadow Legion. We are at level 15. Our individual contributions maxed out. We're looking great. We're looking great, baby. We're doing great in this. Awesome. And we'll have Shadow Legion... Whoa, wait. I didn't see Sao Sao as the secondary for the animation, but it was definitely Esong's AoE. Look, I'm going to hit this guy over here. Boom. Look, look how much I... Oh, I hit that guy for 516,000. Please tell me you saw that. Please tell me you saw that Esong AoE for 516,000. Was that right? That can't be right. Did I misread that? Am I blind? Did I did I see that correctly? Let's welcome Lehigh Lax as a new member of the channel. Lahai, your name is going to show up in green, which means I'll be much more likely to see your comments in the chat. You have a badge next to your name showing how long you've been a member, and you get all the sweet emojis. So let's get all our members to rock those hype emojis, welcoming them as a member of the channel. I do seriously appreciate your support. Holy moly. Oh, and my, my mini is still getting attacked, even though I put out the wall. Putting out the wall was definitely a mistake. And look at that. I did damage to those guys as they were walking over with my AoE, which I think is pretty cool. I, like, do I reinforce this? I guess. I guess so. Just send somebody other than Charles Martel. Drop some T5 infantry in there. No way. It was, wasn't it 516? Please tell me you saw that. Please tell me you saw how insane my damage was. I, I, like, went completely ham on that. That was nuts. That was completely nuts. W Smash hooking me up with... Uh, oh, no, that's Ifu. Ifu's hooking me up with reinforcements. All right, baby. Hit my city, and then my AoE. Watch what my AoE does to this over here. Watch the AoE, baby. Oh, this march getting going by is going to get wrecked. Watch this. Watch this, baby. Here we go. All right, Charles Martel increases my damage by 30%. Then the AOE. Boom. Oh, you couldn't see the number because it was blocked. The number was blocked. Hold on, it's going to do it again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What's the number? 504,000. Woohoo! hoo <laughs> Look at that. My mini is definitely going to die. My mini is it's as good as dead. Oh, look at those emojis. Look at those emojis. All right. All right, my mini's my mini's a goner. My mini's a goner. I went back and looked. Yes, it was 516,000. Woo! Dead at level 23, sad face. I know. I can't believe my mini made it as far as it did. I'm honestly pretty pretty happy with that. It might even get the max rewards for contribution, which is kind of nuts. But I'm pretty sure I'm getting a lot of extra points by having my AoE hit all these other folks. And by the way, I am using the city skin that gives you 5% extra skill damage right now. So, 
Yeah, I am doing a boatload of skill damage. Here we go. Watch it happen. Watch it happen. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm going to hit three targets at least. Oh, this is going to be so much damage. How, how many millions of damage total am I about to do? How many millions of damage? Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Oh my God. I did over a million damage. Stop it. Stop it. Mr. Papa Giorgio 5, thank you for the $2 Australian super chat. Much appreciated. And also David Horick for the $1 super chat. Really appreciate the support. Are you finding this entertaining? Because I'm finding this super entertaining. I did not know with a single AoE I could do a million damage. That was bananas. <laughs> We had five targets, each one for 250,000. I mean, like, I've never seen a skill attack do so much damage. Yeah, 1.25 mil. That was 1.2 mil, says Maz. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, I want to see that again. Can I see that in slow motion? I need a button to press for slow motion. We do have one of the new uh, iPad Pros. We're pretty... We're pretty gosh darn happy with it. I can't believe I waited as long as I did to just buy one of these darn things. The new iPad Pro is so good. My old one was like two and a half years old. It was it was it was getting a little challenging to use. I definitely didn't get enough space on it, which is my bad. Um, this one's got five twelve, which is going to be more than enough space. I mean, I can probably edit four K footage on this tablet which i feel very good about that's going to be really nice that's going to be really nice chisco what's the point to power ratio for mighty governor day um pretty sure it's one two three four and then ten. One, two, three, four, and then ten for each tier of troop so it's 10 points for t5 and four points for t4 can i share my charles martel talent builds Sure. We could do a Charles Martel talent build real quick. Oh, dude, I don't even have my equipment on Charles Martel. I don't even have my equipment moved over. Whatever, I don't even care. Um, My build. Charles Martel build. All right, I'm going to flash it up on the screen real quick. I would recommend that you drop double-headed axe and instead get iron spear. But we got to back out of that real quick because I think I'm about to AoE. And I definitely want to watch that. Oh, the, the 24 is here and there's nothing to AoE. Oh, wait, that's going somewhere else. Okay, that's going somewhere else. Oh, my city's still burning again. How, oh, account master, is he burning? He's not burning, but he could use some help. Let me send some troops. Let me send those troops, baby. Let me send those troops on over. Boom, boom. All right, take some infantry, buddy. Take some infantry. There you go. All right, here we go. AoE time. Level 24 is on the way. It looks like I'm going to hit this one and this one. I mean, like, Butcher is like, dude, I got their back. Look how much I, oh, wait, is he walking by me too? No, he's hitting me. All right, let's look at this AOE. Look, look at the AOE, baby. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? 444,000 damage to each of them. Wow. Boom. <laughs> oh my gosh, 440,000 damage. The most recent update should push rewards as soon as the event is done. That's right. That's right. Negan, are you seeing how much AoE damage we're doing? Because this is insane. This is insane. Oh my god. Forward March Rush. There comes the 25s. Is there a 25 coming to my city? Man. How did your mini get as far as me? <laughs> Shifty. I guess I got reinforced a lot would be the answer to that one. I guess I got reinforced a lot. Uh, did we reinforce this guy? He looks like he could use some reins. Let's hook him up. Let's hook him up. Let's go Guam primary. Guam primary. It doesn't even matter who the secondary is. Barca, more troops. There you go. A little reinforcement for you on the way. On the way. 43 million power died at level 25. Not bad. That is not bad. How do I have 2 billion wood? Dude. 
Negan says, yes, I switched to Esong earlier since we were in such a tight grouping for fourths. Dude, it's amazing. The Esong is completely insane. I did 1.25 million damage. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. And one skill attack. One skill attack. Totally nuts. How many days have we been playing Rise of Kingdoms? 564 days consecutively consecutively we're like pushing on two years of consecutive rise of kingdoms y'all i have 350 days of speed up saved ready to per push my first t5 do you recommend to push on attila mighty governor um you know if you're if you want to go really ham and like really shoot the moon in a perfect world you would do it during um Oh, wait, AoE. How much? Woo, 432,000. You do it during an event that offers a city skin. Um, you get so many points for that. It's just insane. Like when we got Saints Halo, like the challenge we had was when people were like unlocking their T5 and upgrading T4 to T5. We just got wrecked. 61.5 million is what Negan's individual score is at. Holy jeez. Holy jeez. What are we at? Ooh, 70.3 million points. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so we have a lot more than the requisite 29 million for the individual contribution. We're 70 million points. I'm a defense captain for Ark of Osiris. Who should I use for garrisoning? Depends if you think they have a lot of things that are going to debuff healing. I really like Richard the First against opponents that are not going to be debuffing your healing. Looks like Eterdir is in some trouble over here. Um, how many troops do we have here? Not enough. Maybe we could send some help. Oh, good. AR the Butcher is sending some cavalry. That's good. I'll send some cavalry too. Something a little fast. We got to get there in a hurry. Uh, sure, archers are fine. Anything that goes fast. Boom. Get in on it. Get in on it. Neurotic Nemesis teleporting in. This is going to be close, but I think he'll be victorious. I already have troops in there. I'm going to take these troops out and swap these troops in. But he's good. He's good. He's got this. He's got this. Any tips for KVK first one soon? Man, save up a lot of teleports. Save up a lot of resources. You're going to need a lot of stuff to... Uh, Make the KVK successful. Do I have any tips to use gems for a beginner? Save them for an Esong wheel. Save them for an Esong wheel. David Horick, thank you for the $5 super chat. And he says, smash that like button. If you are enjoying this live stream, consider dropping a like onto the video, which definitely helps out the channel. It costs you nothing. Or consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms content. We've been cranking out one, sometimes two videos a day. You got a lot of sweet stuff to watch if you subscribe. And as a fun fact, about 58.4% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, which means a lot of new people watch my stuff. And there's an opportunity for you to subscribe to get all those goodies. Best CPO tank combo? Use Joan of Arc so you buff all your friends. Vasera says, let me start my 44-minute walk home. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> or you can teleport over here and uh, join our fort party and Team W Smash. It looks like we could use a few more people over here. And uh, it's time to start finding these Marauder encampments. I don't see any yet. I don't see any. Oh, nope. That's Shadow Legion. Wait, yeah, that's Shadow Legion. I don't see any Marauder encampments up where we are, which is kind of a bummer. Where are those Marauder encampments at, yo? We got we got uh, this encampment over here. Where's the Marauder encampments? I don't see any over here yet. I don't see any. So hopefully we'll have something to rally soon. If we just get a look at all of our stuff. Woo! I like the instant rewards from Shadow Legion. Here are the tier 15 gold for Shadow Legion Invasion. Be sure to claim them. 
All right. And then Alliance. Negan has started up the Shadow Legion. All right. That's old. Cool. Nice. Okay. Well, we can heal up these troops. Seems like a good choice. Feeling pretty good about this. Should we open up all those goodies? Chiskel, I'm the first one to get T4 in my kingdom. It started yesterday. Holy jeez, Mike. You're cruising. You are cruising. Make sure you have a rune when you... Uh, Make sure you have a rune when you do all that stuff you're doing, speeding things up. They generally spawn east to west. You are in west zone one. Ah, so it'll take a minute to get to us. All right, well, we got some chests we can open here. Also, I didn't see anything drop on the ground during the entirety of that event. Maybe I should have been paying closer attention. Probably should have. All right, I like this farm. It's called Whitey No Zero. <laughs> okay uh can you show your troop amount sure here's where we're at for troops baby i really hope they can bring back richard and esong on the gold keys i doubt they're gonna do that jay i do sincerely doubt that they're gonna do that let's go to our items here and open up some goodies we have 20 treasure of the shadow legion 20 shadow legion material bundles 15 blueprint fragments let's start there this was from the Evil Candyland. So let's see what we get from the Evil Candyland. We have two Gladiator, six Savage Totem, three Quin Soul, and four Karox Humility. We do have uh, these Commander Sculpture chests. We can open this. We're going to get the Sundok Sculptures. Confirm that. There we go. Um, we have 47 of the Treasures of the Warrior. May as well open those. 18 Greaves of the Exile, 11 Staff of the Lost, Three Golden Age. Cool. A blue glowing chest dropped. Oh, I missed it. I did miss a blue glowing chest. Whatever. It was right beside you, but you ignored it. Son of a gun. I wonder what it had in it. Chiswell, I'm in 1227. Good luck in KVK4. Good luck to you, Ice Wizard. Like 10 minutes ago. Chiswell, that was an awesome tribute to Ronnie. Thank you very much. Keep up the great videos. Bonac from 1452. You gave 9, 11 Lohars. Open all your Ethelflaed chests. Oh my god. Um, so we do have more we need to open. 20 Shadow Legion material bundles. I'm very excited for these. I don't have any material in mind that I'm looking for, but gosh darn it, if it isn't awesome to get just a boatload of materials. The more blue I would have gotten, the better, but still pretty happy with the turnout there. 20 of those chests. All right, and now... The Treasures of the Shadow Legion. Now, this is where things get interesting because there are legendary patterns that you can get from here. The chase pattern is the Archer Gloves, in my opinion. So let's rip these open and see how we're doing. Yusuf says, hey, Chiskul, how are you doing today? Doing all right. Doing all right. Um, here we go. Let's rip this sucker open. Three Shadow Legion's Retribution. Unfortunately, one Ian's Choice. That's the one that we really wanted to get a lot of. Uh, the Windswept Bracers and Boots are good. The Gladiator's Blueprint, that's eh, fine. Let's go get a look at that in the Forge. We'll claim our healed troops. Head over to the Forge. Here we are. We can make another Golden Age, which is really cool. Another Staff of the Lost. We did get one more pattern for Windswept Bracers, which is probably something we'll make. And a Gladiator Blueprint, very solid. And also one of the windswept boots so if we cruise in here and wow look at all these things we can forge holy geez we got a lot of options here um man we get into here here's the shadow legion's retribution we're a long ways away we're well, okay we're halfway there we're halfway there can you open 101 chests and get a gold head i don't think it works that way i don't think it works that way um if we look at the pants, the Gladiator is not amazing. I don't love this. There is 5% damage to Barbarians, but like, I'm just not in love with those. Karox Humility is a much more compelling choice, and it would only be for infantry, but it is very good for infantry. I mean, like, you could put it on cavalry, but you're always going to use this instead, really. So um, I think this is really pretty good for infantry. If you get the special talent, you're kind of winning at life. Um yeah, that's that's the dream. I do have an Ash of the Dawn pattern. Man, that pattern sucks. 
That pattern, that pattern is legendary, and the only thing it does above Karak's humility is it's giving me 5% commander experience? Come on. Come on. What's the reward for KVK4? We don't know, but I suspect it will be equipment. I have a strong suspicion that KVK4 will be equipment. What's better? I'm free to play with T4 unlocked. I think around 400,000 T4 altogether. Should I start training T3 so I have full five marches? No, no, no. Upgrade your troops. Mad Astro, upgrade your troops. That's the play. Upgrade rather than training new. How can I switch between talent builds without using a talent reset every time? You have to use a talent reset every time to switch between builds. The only way you can play around without a reset is like you can go in and you can reset one of these builds that's not the active build. You can play with it, reset it, play with it, reset it, but it won't become the active build until you switch to it. And switching to it is going to cost you uh, a scroll or gems. All right, so we're now kind of waiting for the Marauder Forts to spawn in. Skyhawk's getting some Marauder Forts. Where's Skyhawk at? Where is Skyhawk at? Let's see here. Uh, Skyhawk is, oh, you know, 258 kilometers away. Ouch. Account Master is working on a level 4 barb fort. Well, I'll definitely join that with my farm account. That seems like an easy choice. That seems like, ooh, Shifty Walnut's got something he's rallying too. Okay. We'll heal up some troops. And maybe I should switch my view over, honestly, to my farm account instead of my main I was expecting we'd have a lot more to do. Oh, wow. This is going to get pretty out of hand pretty soon. Pretty soon, we are going to have so many rallies going. It is going to be out of control. Best secondary with Khan. Um, I, if you want an epic, I think Osman is pretty amazing. Best secondary is probably going to be like a salad. And look at all these rallies we have going. Holy jeez. We got a lot to do. Do you have to rally the current forts to spawn marauders? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think you have to do that. Chiskul, 1573. We saved ourselves from the 30 hostile migrant whales. Wow. Four to five T5. We only had one T5 player. We won the battle for Lost Temple. That's incredible. That's incredible. What a story. Open gold keys. I mean, we're kind of waiting for, like, something compelling to go into the gold keys. Honestly. We're waiting for something compelling to show up in those gold keys. If we just get a look around, we can show you what these Marauder Forts look like, which we will start rallying really soon. It's funny that I thought this was going to be a Marauder Fort video, but it's just taking a long time for these to show up. Here you can see a Marauder encampment. It shows up in blue. When I zoom out, it shows up in blue. Here's Shadow Legion is in purple. Marauder encampments are blue. And if I zoom out, I can zoom out pretty far and still see it, but not too far. Does Zone 3 have Marauders? Maybe. It will definitely... Uh, yes, Zone 3 has Marauders. Sadly, even Zone 3 has the Marauders before we do where I am now. There are now Marauders where I was. Uh... I got almost zeroed while I slept, and now we're zeroing our enemy's leader. Wow. Dead channel. That's fortuitous timing. That is fortuitous timing. Should I focus on hospital or city hall? Probably city hall. Negan says, I told you to not to start streaming until they showed up. Dude, they're taking so long to show up. Oh, my God. Ugh. So long to show up. Maybe there's a barbarian keep nearby, and we'll just... Oh, yeah. Here's a barbarian keep. Please tell me you're active. That would be the dream. Uh, no. <laughs> Not active. Logan says, Chis, do you anticipate any difficult adjustments to the new KVK map layout? Um, I think it's going to be interesting. I think probably the old KVK map layout benefited us more, but I think it's honestly fine. I think it's honestly fine. Yeah, we got a little time. Some of those will spawn in. Nice. Hello from 1142. Who are your allies? We definitely had fun last KVK playing with you guys. Likewise, 
our allies in this KVK um, are 1189, who honestly, like, they've put up a score commensurate with what an Imperium Kingdom would do, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we've got 1264 and 96. So it's going to be a very interesting KVK. We're the underdog in this KVK, which is going to be really exciting. It's going to be really exciting. I mean, we're going to see, like, can you, can you engineer a kingdom for KVK? Hey, just, you should wear a green shirt when you record. So you're just a floating head. I mean, obviously, because we have a green screen, that's a thing that we've thought about. Although, no, that's not a thing that we are actually doing now. Uh, okay. Boom. You should wear that green screen. That's funny. They should. Should I donate resources by myself, even though members are not donating to research technology? Tell me a little more what you mean, King David. I do think you should donate toward your alliance research. I think that's really valuable. Chisco, is there a tip for opening gold keys because I never get a legendary sculpture? No, I'm not aware of a tip for opening gold keys. Also, what are all these blue lines next to all these cities except mine? That's super weird. Uh, uh, what is going on? Why does like every single city have a blue line going to it? Except mine. Is there something I don't know? Uh, maybe, maybe because, um, they rallied that level four fort and the troops are returning. That's why. That's why. Floating head chess school would be so much fun. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, if we look at the kingdom rankings here, we are going to get more chess at the end of the event, which is going to be really nice. That's going to be really nice. Bro, your system of allies is not God. When you fought your first KVK, you were strongest, but still lost. Man, our first KVK, that's, that's a heck of a story. That is a heck of a story. When we were in Kingdom 51... Um, kingdom versus kingdom was open to migration, which is just catastrophic. Uh, and there were people who went on a, a proper campaign, uh, getting a whole bunch of people to migrate in specifically to battle us. I think if there was not outside intervention, it would have been a really, really amazing matchup. But the outside intervention was pretty catastrophic for us. Chisco, cool. who are you going against in KVK? Um, we're up against... 210, we're up against 115, we're up against 258 and 227. It's definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting. Rank 5 is a pretty nice spot to be, quite frankly, for the 3% training speed. That's really the place to be. 1258, looks like they're going to secure that one which is pretty solid. Although if I was in uh, 227, I would totally gun for that. I've done seven KVKs and never lost, says Epic Memes for Life. Sounds like an epic meme right in the making there. Is it good to rush upgrade my town hall? Yes. Death Gamers, that's a good plan. Mean Hoang, thank you for the $2 super chat. What's the ideal T4 troop amount for a City Hall 24? You know, the more the merrier. What I've started doing in kind of like young accounts is actually, and maybe I should put out this stupid fire on my mini real quick. Um, I have started, and you know what? Here's, we'll just switch over. We'll switch over to the mini and we'll set up our marches. Um, I started using universal speed ups just to train troops on my, you know, city, 25, city hall 25, restart project so i mean i would probably want ideally like a million t4 troops the only thing that's a downside is if your kingdom is dangerous you kind of run the risk of having your troops lost you know and you wake up to a bunch of dead troops because you got zeroed so you know the thing i would kind of advise that you do there there to kind of like protect yourself um is going to be to put your troops into a flag when you go to bed that's like not likely to get hit if you wanted to protect your troops. But, the, but you know, optimally your kingdom's not in a state of war and that's a better situation anyways. 
Um, let's go in here and get our marches set up for the Marauder craziness, all right? So we're going to have five marches. I want each of them to have like 100,000 troops. So we can start with that one. I think the Minamoto primary is a good one. Nice. Okay, so that'll be our first march. Our second march, cancel that. Our second march is Lohar Joan of Arc. We need to change that. In fact, let's make this a save slot we haven't used. Let's select that, and we'll put that in this empty slot. Perfect. Now we're going to take another march slot in. We're going to switch these over to our T4 troops, 100,000 of them. Boom. There we go. Mom's house is rallying a Marauder and Kama. All right, it's getting hot in here. And we'll drop that over here to slot two. Perfect. We'll take in our next Peacekeeper. That Peacekeeper is going to be Ethelflaed. All right. We'll make this 100,000. And drop that in over here. Boom. Just go, cool. our allies are 1142 are also the 3rd, 7th, and 8th in our kingdom rank. Huh. Whoa, whoa, wait. So your allies are 3rd, 7th, and 8th? Who's number 1? Hey, Chis, when's a good time to find allies for KVK? Um, if you're talking about the new light and darkness format, like the, the time to do that is kind of after light and darkness is kind of loaded in. They'll let you know who are the A kingdoms, who are the B kingdoms. I guess technically you could try to figure it out yourself, but that sounds like a pain in the butt. That sounds like a super pain in the butt. We'll change these marches around in a minute to be a little bit better. We just got to get all our troops in play here. All right, cancel. We'll bring in the fifth march. Boom. We'll make these knights 100,000. There we go. And I'm already going to swap out this Herman. Let's use Sao Tzu. That's certainly a better pick. We'll make that slot five. Perfect. Now we'll take in this slot. Ooh, we got Marauder Encampments, baby. We got our first Marauder Encampments. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send over those troops. Boom. Now we're going to switch over to our main. And on my other device... This is, a, this is about to get fun. Now we got Marauder and Camas. We're, we got two devices going at once. I need like a stand for my devices is what I need. All right. We log back in over here. Um, if you wanted to see who the good rally leads are going to be, you can look at the distance. So you can see Account Master is three kilometers away. So that's a rally I want to join. We're going to use the yellow presets. Send them on over. Perfect. And we should go peeping for something to rally ourselves because if a count master is doing rallies, that means there must be some marauder forts nearby. The fun begins, people. The fun begins. I haven't maxed my Mina Tsao on my farm. No, I have not. Not on my farm. Not on my farm. Now, if I remember correctly, they were sp saying they spawn in east to west. So maybe I should look over to the east here to try to find some of these. Maybe this is where I'll see one. So far, I don't see any. I don't see any. Um, yeah, I don't see any Marauder Forts just yet. Soon, fam. Soon. We're going against a player who has 250 million power after 100 days? Well, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. It would be kind of fun to have that kind of money to drop onto mobile games. Like, that, sh that would really be something. All right, let's go see where this fort is. Zoom out. And maybe there are some other forts nearby that we want to go hit. What if we treat it that way? I don't see any. Oh, wait. I think that was the one we started with. Maybe not. Is this rallyable? It is. Perfect. There we go. Boom. 10 minute. Oh, my God. It's a 10 minute march with my Tsao Tsao. But, like, what else are we doing, you know? So we'll join the rallies now on my other device. Boom. We'll send some troops into the rally. Perfect. Filling our own rally with our own troops. There we go. 
Boom. Okay. Now we're cruising. Let's start this party up. Let's get this party started. We gotta wake up all the people nearby. Oh, they're doing 50,000. You know, I bet they could do 100,000 and it'd probably be fine. It would probably be fine. This is going to get pretty crazy. Like a zillion rallies all at once. Shisco, can you show your Belisarius tree for speed? Sure. I can show my Belis Belisarius build. Um, if you want to get a deep dive on mobility builds, check out my video that I did recently about cavalry commanders and super speedy cavalry combos. Let me show you Belisarius. Here's the talents that I'm using. This is not a speed build. This is more of a sustain barbing build. I guess if you wanted a speed build, you'd use this right here. There's the speed build. Bada boom. I never thought there would be a Lost Kingdom wide peace treaty until KVK. For reference, I'm talking about Lost Kingdom 53. Well, that's kind of cool that there's a uh, agreement for peace there. I think that's cool. All right, there we go. We'll send troops into that. We'll go to the farm account, open that up. This is so much easier. It's ridiculous. Boom. We'll go from my farm account, send troops over there to W smash, drop them in. Boom. Nice. This is going to be good. Do you think silent trial is worth it? Okay. I should actually answer that question now that things have calmed down. Is silent trial worth it? Let's go get a look here. The equipment, Silent Trial, can decrease the target's rage by 10. I think that is phenomenal. If I had this pattern, I would make it. I am a cool 29 <laughs> freaking points away, so I'm not going to be able to make that anytime soon, but I definitely would cook that up. Absolutely. We don't know how often it procs. It might suck. We just don't know. I would assume it's not terrible, though. If that proc rate is at all decent, then... Man, it could be really good. Any news from Ronnie? No news. No news and... I don't think no news is good news in this instance. Hopefully we hear something soon. Your Chisco will have a 3543 and one sculpture from getting one more to skill. Do you think it would be good to use him? Man, you really gotta like... You really got to max that first skill. That's a tough one. Hopefully, you can get that first skill maxed out. If you can, then you're in good shape. If you can't, then you're in some trouble. Let's see here. I'll send this march. Boom. Send my farm. Boom. Farm account sent. Awesome. And another rally. Just your video regarding the leaked Soroli Commander looks identical to the Iron Hand Baller Barb that you kill in the coves. I know, Logan, it's crazy. It could be that they made a version of him for Soroli, but you are correct that he does look astonishingly similar. Ronnie messaged again at the Discord. Oh, really? I mean, I can pull that up real quick. I have low key three devices. Low key three devices. Are you scared of us in 1201? 1201? I don't know why I would be scared of 1201. We're not battling against 1201. Um, let's see here. We're going to go and check out a Discord. Bada boom. Announcements. Yeah, I see no new announcements. I see no new announcements. As we wait for rallies, baby. My Caesar is 1555. The first skill is not maxed. Like, what is my luck? Wow. Ping 1988. That is the worst luck ever. Almost as bad as my rolls in the Garden of Infinity. That's tough. I mean, I hope you were going to go for the expertise skill. Because at this point, I mean, you could. You could. That's a tough use of all those universals. I mean, I'd so much rather get them from gold keys, you know? Hey, man, wish you'd do that full season timeline video. It'd help us prepare so much. Oh, yeah. Season timeline. 
We should do that for uh, Light and Darkness KVK. Full season timeline video for Light and Darkness KVK. All right, we'll send this march, and we'll go to my farm. We'll send another march. And at this point, all my marches are actually on the field, which is kind of cool. We'll join up here. There we go. Boom. Awesome. I don't think these rallies are filling yet. I don't think these rallies are filling. Yeah. So 100,000 is a fine amount to send. And that's because we're pretty spread out in a bunch of different locations for all these rallies. Who's the best match partner of Sun Tzu? Um, you have a lot of choices, and it depends on what you're doing. If you're in the open field, I really like Ulji Mundok at the Epic tier. My Caesar is 111. Oh, gosh. Arnell, don't use any more sculptures on there. 1075 is Imperium. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Who's the best commander of Sun Tzu? I think we answered that. Um, Max, Charles Martel, Julius Caesar, Ethelbud, Sao Tsao, Minamoto, Edward, G.Y. Who's G.Y.? Who's next? Guan Yu. That's, that's who that is. Um, do you, you don't have Alexander the Great or Esong? I'd say Alexander the Great or Esong are a pretty clear pick. You never really explain to us about Kingdom 39 and why you left it. Uh, why are you hiding from us? Dude, I'm not hiding anywhere. I'm in, I'm in plain sight. Kingdom 39 was a kingdom full of people that had at one point in time spent money or continued to spend money but just didn't actually play the game. Um, and there were, of course, exceptions. There were a lot of people that like really played a lot, but... There were too many people that were sort of inactive and not really fighters in the kingdom. And um, yeah, we, we decided to leave to form a separate group. Hey, Chess, what's up? May I see your equipment on cavalry? Yeah, I mean, I can show you some of my main cavalry. I can show you, show you some of my main cavalry equipment. Here's some of my gear that's on con. It looks like my gloves are somewhere else right now. Where did my gloves go? They must be on Saladin. Yeah, my gloves are on Saladin right now. That's fine. Which commanders do you use to capture the Ark? Um, I think Bybars and Belisarius are really good commanders to capture an Ark. Like 10 out of 10 would recommend those commanders to capture an Ark. Are you planning any doing Artemisia testing soon to share with us? We have done some testing with Artemisia. That is an interesting point that I mentioned. I would share some of that. Let me think on that. Let me think on that. Chiskul burns $15,000 during KVK. You're not exactly wrong, Salty Fish. You're not exactly wrong. We do commit a lot of cash to winning KVK. All right, one rally's on its way. That rally's on its way. That, oh God, it's going eight minutes, six minutes. Man, we're, we're going a long way for those rallies. We're going a long way. I should switch over some of my mobility gear to my commanders that I'm using for these rallies. I'm definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. In fact, I think I should just make another piece of gear. Why don't we do that? Why don't we forge another piece of windswept bracers real quick? I think we should do that. I think we should do that. Let's try, let's try the quick forge button and see how it goes. And hopefully it works out for us. I feel like that's a good pick. Um, let me just look at what I have now for bracers. Let's see here. If I look at my con, we look, see, I need another pair. And I have them on Ethel. I've got a pair on Richard, probably with the boots as well, which is a good pick. Yeah, okay. I could, I could. I could do Special Talent Cav. I think that would be reasonable. Special Talent Cav would be reasonable. The reason I struggle a little bit with that is that, you know, if you're going to make Cav gear anyways, you probably are just going to make these. It's at Sufferance. Like, those stats are too good to pass up. It's way too good to pass up. Um, I do have an infantry set on my Guan, I believe. Where are you at, Guan? Boom. I got some infantry-specific ones on my Guan, which is pretty solid. A lot of march speed, a lot of stats, pairs nicely with these boots. Um, really solid for getting around. 
My kingdom's 85 days. When should I expect an Esong wheel? Like 95 days? You're pretty close. You are pretty close. Let's rock another Windswept Bracer here. We're going to hit the Quick Forge button and see what it does. So let's see here. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I actually really like this. So it's showing me that it's going to take four greens and turn them into a blue. It's showing me that it's going to use two pick one blue chests, which is good. And then a bunch of green and white materials. Uh, and then it's showing me the bones I'm going to use. Yeah, okay. Forge. Let's do it. Hmm. Cool. Windswept racers. All right. I actually really like that quick forge. That actually was pretty painless. Not going to lie. How am I? McNair, I'm doing great. I am doing great. And we've got Alohar on his way back already. Cool. Quick Forge is legit. Shifty Walnut, you're not wrong. That, that Quick Forge is pretty sweet. Hey, by the way, if you're enjoying this live stream, consider dropping a like on the video. It supports the channel and it costs you nothing. And also consider subscribing to the channel for daily Rise of Kingdoms content about Kingdom versus Kingdom getting value, and smashing your enemies. <laughs> Quality of life upgrade. You're not wrong. That is way more elegant than I thought it would be. I thought it was just going to be kind of like a trap that you end up spending things and it works out poorly and I don't know. Like it uses them non-optimally. Man, a 12-minute walk home. That's... We're getting we're getting uh, kind of desperate on this part of the map for something to hit. Is Belisarius is a secondary commander... Better use him or Cao Cao first, still maxed. Um, I think Belisarius is a fine secondary commander. Uh, between him and Cao Cao as the primary, it, it kind of doesn't matter. They both have the same talent trees. It's going to be a lot less experience to make Belisarius the primary uh, and to level them up. Hey, Chess, who should I max next? Takeda or Isong? Probably Isong, dude. Esong is amazing. Esong is amazing. Did I check out the new gear? Yeah, the new gear is sweet. I made a video about it. It's really sweet. Is a 5411 Minamoto good for the early game? Yeah, it's good. I mean, obviously, I think a max Minamoto is better, but I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. You can definitely use that. All right, no more rallies over here just yet. We're just chilling, waiting for those troops to come back. Why are the prices in the game so exaggerated? You know, I mean, it's really designed to get a lot of money from big spenders than it is to probably get, like, uh, you know, lots of people to buy stuff, if that makes sense. But obviously, I don't come up with the monetization strategy. I couldn't tell you exactly uh, how they come up with that. What's a good Kusunoki Archer build? You know what? It just so happens we have Kusunoki maxed out and we've got some archer builds but a boom here's a good kusunoki archer build but if you're looking for epic commander archer builds check out my video all about epic commander archer builds is edward worth making max with esong um i think they're fine for rallying stuff but attila takeda is better so like they're fine but you can do better how can i level up my commanders as quickly as possible Check out my video about hitting Shrine and Altar Guardians. That's your that's your play. Now we'll open a couple gold keys just because y'all have asked me to do that. A gold star. I don't think we're going to get anything exciting here. I'll only do a few of these, and then we'll, we'll call it on the gold keys. Because, I mean, like, I don't know. I'd rather just rip a bunch at once. Three Ishida is kind of cool. Two Sundock is kind of cool. Actually, we might be able to put a skill on a Sundock. We should go check that out. How much did I spend on this game so far? Um, I mean, I spent about 2000 a month. So uh, you can do the math on that one. You can do the math on that one. As a free-to-play, is a 5200 Esong okay as a secondary? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it'd be better It'd be better to kind of max that second skill and then go 1-1. One, one. Full, he's at 200000 I don't know. I'm definitely, I have not spent $200,000. I definitely, ooh, hey, look at that, full Julius Caesar. That's actually not so bad. That's not so bad. We're still waiting for the Marauder encampments to kick in in full in this part of the map. 
The other parts of the map are in full swing. We got a team over here. We got a team back over here doing stuff. We got a team over here. We got a team over here. Rally in those Marauder Forts, baby. Does equipment on secondary commander still give its buffs? No. Why am I the German civilization? I'm the German civilization for the 5% training speed boost. We wanted the 5% training speed boost because we just trained like 10 million power and troops. We went from 120 some million to 134 million. That is a very recent change. Boom. Doing those Marauder Forts, baby. How many have we done? Also, did they change the KVK rewards for Marauder Forts? Um, maybe. Maybe not. You have to do a lot of Marauder Forts to get that highest tier. Holy jeez. That is a lot of Marauder Forts. That seems pretty unlikely to me. That seems pretty unlikely. Tsao or Mina as primary for open field, full cavalry. Mina for combat, Tsao for maneuvering. So there's not exactly a single answer that I'd recommend. Not exactly a single answer that I'd recommend. Do a good key opening. I mean, we did just get some sweet keys. Although apparently we can't level anything up. Uh, our Julius Caesar, oh, so close to getting another skill. And our Ishida... Oh, he's way far away. Sundok, who we just got. She's got to be close. Five sculptures to go. Five sculptures to go. All right. Another Marauder Fort down. The rewards on here are fine. Experience, resources. I'm really interested in the resources, not the experience. Um, is Constantine good in PvP? Yes. Constantine, great. You use Constantine Alex and you're in great shape. Last KVK, I got to 3 million Marauder points on three accounts. Holy jeez. HS school 5111 Richard or 5511 Richard. I mean, if you have patience, the 5511 is definitely better. The 5511 is definitely better. Tao Tao for farmer killing, Mina for everything else. Yeah, it's not a bad answer. That's definitely not a bad answer. How did you get the wind gloves? Um, we got those from Shadow Legion. Shadow Legion is where you get those. We actually just completed Shadow Legion and got a lot of good stuff out of it. What do you like the concept? Ooh, 10% March speed. Hello, baby. Uh, what do you like the concept of universal blueprints? Um, universal blueprints is an interesting idea. That would definitely be an interesting idea. Um, yeah, I mean, you could basically get whatever pattern you wanted. I don't think it's something they're going to do, but I think it's a cool idea. Two Cleopatra sculptures. Look at how many Rip Cleos we have. 558 Rip Cleo. Man, that's above the expertise. What's the reward you get for Marauder Encampments? Um, you're going to get a bunch of speed ups experience and resources speed ups experience and resources are the thing that you get gold star yeah, gold star again kusunoki what else <laughs> full cleo rip cleo rip cleo and okay well this still worked out to julius caesar and to freddy i mean that's 15 legendary commander sculptures in a single gold key that's not bad. That was not bad. We'll keep it going here and see how we do. I have a 5511 Richard and 85 sculptures. Should I put them on E Song? Hmm. It depends if you're going to go for the expertise on E Song. I mean, I think it's definitely worth going for. It's so powerful. And there's the 10 Sundok we needed. Super cool. I think we can put another skill on her. I think we can drop another skill on her which is kind of exciting. We'll do that in just a second. Skyhawk's got a Marauder Campment. I don't think he's in our group. Yeah, our group is still walking back. I like the idea of Universal Blueprints. I do think it's a cool idea. All right, here we go. Sundock. There you are. Skill. Where do I want it to land? Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter where it lands. Honestly, we'll just smash upgrade. Cool. Health and defensive siege units by 25%. That's nice. 
That's nice. We have 1,114 sculptures. And let's thank Legacy89 for becoming a member of the channel. Your name shows up in green. It's way more likely I'm going to see your chats. You get the badge, which means it shows just how long you've been a member, and you get the emojis. So let's get some hype emojis welcoming Legacy89 to the channel as a member. Great to have you here. Whew. How's my Mehmed looking these days? He's looking okay. He's looking okay. Uh, 5533, three, and we are an eternity away from getting another skill here. Chiskul, important to look at Legend Ronnie news? Where would I find Legend Ronnie news? Where would I find that? Lahai, dropping those sweet emojis. Oh, yes. As our troops return home to launch another set of rallies. Hey, I have a Max Outsau Khan Esong working on Martel. What after him? Salad and Ramses or Richard? Wow. I mean, I think Ramses is going to be the jam. I think Ramses is going to be the jam. Uh, we work in technology to answer the question about what kind of work I do. Here we go. Opening these up. What do we got? Uh, ooh. Full Freddy. Full Freddy. All right. Nice. Nice. It's been months since my first offer. Da da da. Hey, Chess, I have Saladin 5551, five, five, Esong 5512. Five, five, I have 264 Universal Golden Heads. Which one should I invest them on? Um, That's a tough one. I think Esong is a good long term invest. Esong is just so powerful. Oh, two more from. Wow. 12 Freddy Heads. This is not so bad. Chiskel, why are fort spawn, uh, spawning only in zone one? So I'm pretty sure that the forts are spawning on the west side of the map first and then making their way over to the east side of the map. Uh, oh, 453 wasted Sao Sao sculptures. Rip Sao Sao sculptures. 265 wasted El Cid sculptures. Gross. There's buy bars. Cool. All right, we're down to 750 gold keys. We'll chill on gold keys for now. We'll chill on gold keys as our troops cruise on home. They got a long way to go. It's still a minute, three minutes. I've never had that kind of luck opening gold keys. Me either. <laughs> These gold keys were really good. Boy, his name is Frederick. Don't you call him Freddy? Oh yeah, east to west. Justin, you're right. They spawn east to west, not west to east. East to west. That's right. So they spawn all the way over here first. And then they start to spawn their way over this way. Like, do these guys have any forts? It looks like they got forts. It looks like they're doing rallies over here. With all those lines, it looks like they're definitely doing some rallies. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Ooh, Account Master has got a rally going again. All right. We're back on that rally encampment plan. Sure, we'll send that over. Do you think that players can always compete and score well without spending money in the game? You can, but you have to save up for the events that you're doing, if that's the route you're going to go. You can do it, but you have to save up for specific events. You can't just like try to spend on every event and then lose all of them. I mean, you can, but you're going to lose all of them. Hey, Chess, Richard and Alex, good for late game. I'm an info, info player. Uh, yeah, they're good. Richard is maybe losing some value these days because there's so many things that counter healing. It's astonishing. But yes, that, that is generally good. All right, we'll clear this out. Get these goodies. I'd rather have six 100 million power players than one 600 million power whale. Yeah, I mean, you're not exactly wrong. Um, it depends on the, how the 600 million power whale plays. If they commit their troops in the same way, then I think it's fine. But I think it is unlikely they will commit their troops in that same way. I really like your videos watching uh, more than eight months. God protect you, my friend. Thank you, Legacy89. I appreciate it. And thank you, Iron Man AJ, for becoming a member of the channel. Your name now shows up in green. It makes it so much easier to see your chats. You get a badge 
showing how long you've been a member, and you get access to all the custom emojis. Let's rock those hype emojis, welcoming Iron Man AJ to the channel. Great to have you here, and I seriously appreciate it. Whew. Awesome. Four new members today. That's super chill. That is super chill. Let's check in on our rally situation. If it's not too late, I can use my farm account to join the rally as well. Almost forgot to do that. Where are you at, account master? I think I can get in on that action. Oh, yeah. We can do that. Boom. We're in on the rally. Nice. I'm like double fisting devices here. And we're like double fisting the devices. How do I become a member? Uh, so becoming a member is a $5 a month contribution to the channel. Uh, and you hit the dollar sign down below to become a member. Logan rocking that hype emoji. Logan, your badge is orange, which means you've been a member for at least three months. It's hard to get in this chat, but Legend Ronnie needs our prayers. Indeed, he does, my friends. Indeed, he does. We're going to join this paranoia rally. Yeah, okay. We got, we got some troops reasonably close. We're going to do that on our farm as well. Take care, Chiss. The virus is everywhere. Dude, we are social distancing like whoa right now. We are social distancing like whoa. All right. Boom. And now we're going to find something to rally after we move over some equipment. We're going to get the march speed over here. We're going to get the march speed over here. Oh, the commander's not in town. I'll take it off of Guan. Sure. And I got a helmet. Yeah, let's do a little helmet. Oh, Saladin's not in my city either. Boo. All my commanders are out and about. All right, well, that's fine. Oh, I can put the coin on him, though. Yeah, what the heck. Give my rally leader the coin. Save on the repair bill. Nine months, Logan. You animal. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you for being a member for such a long time. Holy moly. You may be one of my longest members, in fact. You may be one of the longest members of the channel. Come to think of it. That is awesome. All right. Let's get a cruise around over here. Do we have any of these Marauder Forts, like, even remotely close yet? We're just marching, like, a small eternity to hit these things. Let's see where some of these other ones are going. Looks like Whoopi's got some we can do. We'll join up their rally. We'll join up over here. I'll just use a bunch of these. Boom. We'll join up on my farm. Bada boom. All right. And this is kind of the nature of this part of the event. It is a lot of just like join rally on this device, join rally on that device. Echo Gaming, what's going on, dude? Good to see you here. How you doing, Echo? How you doing, man? We're in KVK, sort of. The pre-KVK events, anyways. And a uh, lot to do. A lot to do. We're finding these Marauder Forts to rally. Here's one. Nice. Oh, 13-minute walk? I guess that's because it's infantry. But, like, 10-minute walk? Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. I... I mean, like, I'd rather kind of not commit the march. There's got to be some ones spawning in closer, right? There's got to be some closer ones. What about this one? Where, where are you at? Are you closer? You're not very close. Mr. Drogo, thank you for the two-pound donation. Thanks for all the great videos. Well, thank you for your support. It is much appreciated. We're just doing uh, Marauder Forts here. Leading up to kingdom versus kingdom. Having a grand old time. Having a grand old time. Finding marauder forts, maybe, sort of. Ugh, marauder forts, people. Esong is the best legendary in the game. I agree. That's a great first investment. That is a really solid first investment. If we cruise around here, can we find anything closer? Where was account master going? Let's zoom out here. That looks pretty far away. That looks pretty far away. I don't see, however, 
any marauder forts closer. Man, they take a long time to spawn into this part of the map. Holy jeez. Let's see where Dirt Cobain's rallying. Oh, he's further away. All right, well, I guess this one we found earlier might be one of the closer ones. Up over here. Ugh, that's so far. We're probably going to walk all the way over there only to have somebody else rally it, which is like the worst part. There's one over here. Is this closer? Are these closer? Maybe. Uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, that's, a, that's better. That's better. That's still bad, but better. Now we'll join from the farm account. Bada boom. Joining Chiskul. We got you one minute away. Yeah, join from one minute away. Boom. Shifty Walnut, thank you for the $4 sticker with the pear rocking a huge old mug. We are out of what we were drinking. Rip chocolate tea. We do have water, though. We do have some water, so we can stay hydrated. Chis, can you show your kingdom rank? Happily. When would Esong show on the wheel? Like 95 days into a kingdom's age. Kingdom rank is number two currently. We are number two. How do the wheels work? Like when do they come? They come on the second day of Mighty Governor cycles. The second day of Mighty Governor is when you get a Wheel of Fortune. All right, cool. Well, that rally is on its way. Here's an example of stuff you get from those Marauder Forts. You do get a fair amount of speed-ups, which is solid. You do get a fair amount of speed-ups. All right, and we're good on rallies here. Nice. Very nice. Open up the keys over here. Is your jumper account ready with Echo? Uh, my jumper account is not with Echo. I've basically at this point stopped playing the jumper. I just don't have time with KVK here. It's totally insane. Iron Man AJ says, love your vids. Been watching for six months. Keep up the awesome work. Stay safe from Australia. Thank you, Iron Man AJ. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Whew. No dull moments. Actually, to be perfectly honest, to be perfectly honest, this is pretty tame compared to some of the stuff that's going to happen in Kingdom vs. Kingdom. I think the best part about this event is just hanging out with your alliance members in voice. That's the key, people. That's, that's the real key, is to be in voice and make it a social event, doing all these Marauder Forts. 5-5... Five, five, 5-1 Takeda or Khan or Saladin? Probably Saladin. If you're picking one of those, probably Saladin. I like that choice. Um, he's tanky. He's got utility. You can max him out, do really great stuff with him. I think for Khan, you could just do 5-5-1-1 and be okay. Obviously, the more skills, the better, but 5-5-1-1 is good enough to get a lot of value. At that point, you've got the Rage Engine, which is solid. All right. Nice. If we're trying to prepare a kingdom to be organized with Marauder Forts, what would I suggest? So I think getting into groups is really important for Marauder Forts. Um, I think that sending less than a full march of troops is really important so that the rallies can actually fill up. I think splitting up into different parts of the map is really important. And I think that you really shouldn't have more than five people in an area leading rallies. Otherwise, not everybody can join them because your marches are, you know, limited to five. But also the problem you're going to have is that, like, you're going to run out of forts if more than five people are rallying in a given area. And then you're all just sitting there. So you're either going to have to teleport all over the place, which, you know, you got ten people teleporting. That's a lot of a lot of gems. At least 10 people, right? Hey, do you think 5K USD will take a 26 million power player to T5? Wow. Um, that's a huge investment in a mobile game. That's a huge investment in a mobile game. I don't know if it will get you to T5, but I do think it'll go a pretty long way. Um, the key is really aligning things with kingdom buffs, with 15% runes, making sure your alliance has the shrines and holy sites that give you research speed boosts, 
All that kind of stuff is going to go a long way. And there is a Juggernaut rally. So let's join him. We've got those troops ready. Boom. And we'll join on my farm to Juggernaut's rally. There we go. Another 100,000 troops. Perfect. Pop some AP. Vlad. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to pronounce this last name correctly, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Nich, Nichi Porenko. We'll go with just Vlad. Vlad, thank you for the $5 super chat. Planning to max out Esong. Do you think Martell is worth spending golden heads on? So far playing almost only cavalry. 75th day of the kingdom. Thanks. Okay, Vlad. Here's what I'd recommend to you. Commanders that come from gold keys, I do not think you should use your universal heads on. The reason is that, to give an example, I now have 345 extra Charles Martel heads from freaking gold keys. So if you really wanted a garrison pair, you could invest in Martel, and Martel will be good for that. But I think you're better off with a commander like Richard I, who is not going to come from gold keys. They're not going to come anywhere except for wheels. I mean, I have one wasted Richard sculpture, one and one only. So I just would be very hesitant to invest gold keys in commanders that, uh, sorry, I'd be hesitant to invest universal legendary commander sculptures in the commanders that come from gold keys. There we go. Um, what happened to Legend Ronnie? Nothing that I know of. No new news that I've heard. No new news that I've heard. I just got Esong and I have Khan. Who should I invest in? Um, I think Esong is amazing. If you're going to go for the expertise skill, definitely go for Esong. If you're not going to go for the expertise skill, you can take Khan to 5511 and you're good. Legacy 89. Chisquil my Pemed is maxed, but he is still... is max skill, but... He, is he still the best legendary that is rallying a city? I think Mehmed is amazing for rallying cities. Mehmed is phenomenal. I mean, like, his expertise skill is amazing. This is amazing. He does extra damage to cities. I think if he's the secondary to a commander that is a better rage engine, you're in really good shape. So, for instance, I think that a Saladin primary Mehmed secondary is terrifying as a combo that is insanely good that is insanely good for perspective artemisia or esong i would say esong go with esong that's the pick esong is just so much value i mean like the the answer to the question of esong or is almost always esong honestly it's so good. Kingdom 1410 in KVK Season 2. 56. 15 days left in KVK. Cool. Good luck. Good luck. I'm, I'm free to play. It's going to cost a lot of time to max skill for every commander. Yes, it is going to take a lot of time. You got to focus if you want to do a max skill commander. You are going to have to focus. CJ Miller, any tips for Season 1 of KVK? For season one of KVK, save up resources. Make sure that the best uh, people are leading rallies and defenses. Um, those are pretty important. David M., thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Let's get some hype emojis welcoming David M. as a member of the channel. That's now five members that have joined in this stream, which is awesome. Uh, David's name shows up in green. They've got a badge next to their name showing how long they've been a member. And to top it off, um, that also applies to comments you leave on my videos. Makes them a lot easier for me to find. In fact, YouTube even gives me some tooling that helps me see member comments so that I can respond to them more promptly. So thank you for becoming a member. I do seriously appreciate it. Big Raz 86 says there's no question for Esong or it's always Esong. Dude, tell me about it. Rap Store, how's it going? Um, 38,000 VIP, 38,000 VIP till VIP 12. Do I rush it for the two gold heads or wait for more than gems? Um, it depends on how many days you think you're going to have to wait. So every day that you're getting 
the VIP 12, that would be 2,000 gems worth of value because it's a legendary commander sculpture, right? So if you think there's going to be a more than gems in the next 18 days, then you should wait. I am inclined to believe that you should probably just spend the 32,000 gems. That's, or did you say 36,000 gems? Whatever it was, just spend them. You're, I think you're close enough that it's probably worth it. And like, look, if more than gems shows up, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> but at the same time, there's probably something else good you could spend your gems on as well. Um, but yeah, that would suck if more than gems shows up. So I don't know. I mean, you could wait a couple days and see, but every day you wait, you lose 2,000 gems of value. See what I mean? So I think if you're going to go for it, you should go for it. Those are, those are the considerations though, is like how soon do you think a more than gems might be? I think that event is generally very rare. It, it does not feel like it's going to come anytime soon. TBH. Make a video about the benefit and downfall of being a low spender T5 and if it is better to have max text but fight with T4. Um, even if you are a high spender, you should be field fighting with T4. No question about it. No question about it. My T4 or my most, they are my literal most precious units, hands down. I do not send my T4 to die anymore. I used to do that and it was such a mistake. T5, this is the way I think about troops, okay? And, and I get that most people don't think this way, but hear me out. Um, T5 exists mainly for Ark of Osiris League because they don't die in that game mode and to go send to die. Because the healing cost is just absurd for T5 troops. To field fight with T5 is just stupidly expensive. Um, and a part of what you're trying to do in war is actually wear down the enemy's resources. You do that a million x more efficiently with T4 than you do with T5. So um, I like to send my T5 to die. Uh, and I use them basically to score points when I train them up in events. And then I send them to die. <laughs> so there's that's how I think about it. OG Crunky, what's going on, dude? Good to see you in the chat. Fire away, my friend. What is your question? Can I use a 3423L SID? Tyler, you can, but that kind of is not kind of awkward. You know, it's kind of awkward. Good to log in and see I won Shadow Legion and my dice is here. The last Spartan, what's going on, dude? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Good to have you in the chat, man. Ugh. Rise of Kingdoms, man. There's no dull moments. There's no dull moments. Collect all those sweet rewards. Descending T5 Cavalry to a T4 Cavalry Rally slow it down. Yes. Yes, it does. So um, a march or rally will go as fast as the slowest unit contained in that march or rally. So if you send a T5 cavalry to a rally that is otherwise all T4, then it will slow down the rally. It will go as fast as the T5 unit. So um, for an event like this, I'm using my T4 because I don't want to slow down the rally. And it looks like all my marches are too far away to join it. The dice game is one big trap. Evil Candyland. Let me tell you something. The last Spartan has crazy good luck on that event. Like stupid, ridiculous good luck. It's amazing. I don't become, an, I see an option to become a member in YouTube mobile version. Weird. Um, so to become a member of the channel, there should be a little dollar sign next to the emoji sign. When you tap that, there should be an option to become a member. It's not available in all countries, however. So that might be a part of what's going on. Dang, I just lost a bet. You could have lied for me. Sorry, Crunky. I mean, maybe rallies behave slightly differently than like your open field marches, but I don't think that's true. I am not playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake tonight. Should I be? Is that a new game? Is that a, is that a thing? 26 epics in 130 dice. Spartan, stop it. Did that just happen? Did that just happen? Your dice are so good, dude. Your dice are freaking fire. Spartan has the fire dice, baby. That was, oh, that was your best. Okay. 
I was like, damn, that's too good. Shouldn't all the gems be going to VIP 14 um, and books instead of going to the wheel? Um, PhD and blunt, that is an interesting question. It sort of depends. You see, eventually, eventually, like you're going to run out of stuff to do with VIP. So it depends on your rate of VIP gain. Um, I guess I started leveling up my VIP at a time when there were not more VIP levels. So I'm always at the cap for what VIP can do. But I do agree with you that there is a ton of value to be had from getting that extra legendary commander sculpture every day. But I just think that that's really expensive to gem like hundreds of thousands of gems into VIP. That feels really expensive. Um... I guess you'd have to do the math to compare when you'd get there otherwise. It depends on your rate of gem gain. But, like, that is a lot of gems. That is a lot of gems. I have Max Esong. Should Alex be my next commander? Um, I think either Constantine or Alex would be a really good choice. I tend to lean towards Constantine over Alex as the next legendary to max out, but both are phenomenal for different things. Alex has a slant toward uh, rallying. Um, Constantine has a slant toward defending, and both of them are good in the open field, is the way I would think about that. Hi, Chiskul. Love from the Middle East. Hello. I hope everyone is well wherever you are in the world, but I'll make the shout out to you in the Middle East. Constantine or Leo? I think Constantine is better universally. Right? Like, Leo's amazing in open field, but they're not a garrison captain as well. Whereas Constantine's great in the open field, not quite as good, but they're also a phenomenal garrison commander. VIP is a long-term payoff. Um, it is a must, in my opinion, for any long-term players. It is definitely a long-term investment. It is definitely a long-term investment. I mean... We get a lot of really good stuff up in here at VIP 17. Like, it's a pretty nice set of buffs here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's pretty sweet. VIP 12 is a must. It is really amazing. VIP 12, yes. VIP 14 is too expensive for most players. Yeah, Mike, that, ma that makes sense. I agree that it's pretty expensive. All right. HS, you did an awesome video for Ronnie yesterday. Thank you, Hyjal. I appreciate it. Was very respectful, directing people's attention where it should be. Well done, and I'm proud to be your fan. Thank you. I appreciate it. I wanted to do something that was supportive. I wanted to do something that was about him, not about me. Um, and that's why like, we're donating the revenue from that video to Ronnie, and we um, referred a bunch of his videos that like, I think everybody should go watch um, because I think that's a great way to support a creator who may not be able to create videos for themselves. Uh, only one worth gemming is 14, 13 maybe. Whatever one gets you, the three sculptures. Ah, it's 14. VIP 14 gets you the three sculptures a day. Um, not hard to make up 100,000 gems that way. Yeah, I mean, I forget exactly how many... I think you need 750,000 VIP to get to VIP 14. So that's going to be like 250,000 gems at least for most people. I mean, it's a lot of gems. That is a lot of gems. That is an astonishing amount of gems. The forts have not even kind of warmed up on our part of the battlefield yet. Um, we're still waiting for them to spawn in. I think we should have been somewhere physically different on the map at the start of this event. If I were doing this over again, I would say this is a nice long-term place to be. Um, but a more optimal position for us would have been somewhere... Well, it's tough. See, this group has this whole area covered. This group has this whole area covered. And the other alliances in the kingdom have these other areas covered. So, I mean, like, across all of the alliances in the kingdom... We have all of the map covered in its entirety, and that's well-coordinated, I think. But for now, <laughs> we have some long walks. We have some long walks here. 
And that just kind of is what it is. I'm ready for 18. Uh, VIP 18, last Spartan is ready. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, it's 250,000 gems to go from VIP 13 to VIP 14. Yikes. It's a lot. Who would I say is a better invest, Guan or Alex? I think Alex is the better invest. AJ is rocking the hype emoji. Nice. We will pop a purple chest soon. Yeah. Solid. Solid. We will have a purple chest soon. All right. Ooh, we got more Marauder loot. Sweet. Our Sao Sao is on his way home. And you know what I could do? You know what I should do? I go into my commander tab here. And what I should do is switch my charge captain to be Sao Sao. Get the 1% extra rallied march speed, yo. And uh, Ranger is the 5% damage to barbs on my Minamoto. <laughs> Min-maxing, people. Micro-optimizations. <laughs> uh, Khalid says, Shinchi got a message from Baba. Uh, I did see that message. I also received that message. Um, I don't know. Like, it, I don't... It's all second-hand, third-hand information to me, but, like, if it is true that that like Ronnie's lung has collapsed because of coronavirus, that is not good. That is a really, really, really difficult situation. I don't know what the latest rates are for, you know, surviving that situation, but my understanding is that it's really not good. Um, yes, I hope that that is not true, that Ronnie is actually on a ventilator because his lungs collapsed. That would be very tough. All right. Give me a second here. We're going to join this rally. We'll select a preset. Sure, we'll use this one. Boom. Um, how big of a hit did Attila take from the nerf? Um, Attila took a hit, but I would say not a catastrophic hit. Uh, I don't know exactly what percentage I would say he's like less effective, but I think he's still managing to be the slam dunk lead for rallies. He's still, yeah, I think Mike Voss saying 90 to 95% pre-nerf. I think you're not wrong. I think you're not wrong. I think he's still pretty gosh darn solid. All right, we can join this rally as well. Get our Lohar in the action. Bada boom. Go to our farm account. Get that action going too. Bada boom. New troops. And there we go. Full march is in. Perfect. As our marches come home. Is Khan Saladin better than Saladin Takeda? I think Saladin Takeda is the jam, yo. That is a very, very tanky, healy march. It is very solid. Best way to gain power free to play. Hospitals or um, economic research is going to be your best bet for gaining power really fast. It's going to cost you a lot of resources, but it's going to be a low amount of speed ups. Check out my video on how to gain power fast. That will explain that in a good bit more depth. Who comes after Charles Martel in the Daily Chest? The answer to that is El Cid. El Cid comes next in the Daily Chest. Time, lots of time, says Big Raz 86. Yeah, um, time is a factor for gaining a lot of power. Um, and I guess it's worth mentioning that, like, you can get to T5 for free. It's just going to take you a really long time, right? Gold mines. Gold mines are a good way to gain a lot of power. The only thing that I'll say for a free-to-play player is that like, you really don't need the gold. So in that regard, gold mines are not a great investment. They do definitely get you a lot of power. They're just not a great invest. Uh, Khan, Saladin, or Saladin, Takeda. Uh, Brandon, I lean towards Salad and Takeda if we're talking about like a single march for the open field. Just unlocked Ethelfled. Has your opinion changed on her? No, she's amazing. Ethelfled's amazing. She's still phenomenal. The only reason I don't use Ethelfled 
anymore for my open field marches is that like I just have so many high impact legendaries that I feel like my better contribution is to let somebody else bring the Ethel Flood. But uh, yeah, we got... Oh, good. Our alliance already has a rally on that. Very nice. Um, Ethel Flood is still a phenomenal commander in Rise of Kingdoms. For sure. All right, where are these where are these Marauder Forts at, yo? Ooh, here's one. Rally? Aha. Uh -huh. Five minutes? Oh my gosh. It's a 10-minute rally? Gross. If that's the closest one we've got, I guess we'll do it. Now we'll join it from our farm. Bada boom. Joining. Boom. There we go. Uh, joining with my farm. Perfect. Perfect. Saladin Takeda is the second best pair to Charles Constantine to defend against Attila Takeda. It's very good. It is definitely very good. Wonder how often Soroli will come. I think every other week, Matt Sullivan, is how often we'll see Soroli. Hey, by the way, if you are enjoying this video, consider dropping a like on the video or subscribing to the channel for that sweet daily Rise of Kingdoms content. All right, what do we got here? Eh, Spivey's got a rally. We got one march at home, which means someone else should be launching a rally pretty soon in our group. How much longer are we streaming for? I don't know. I don't know how much longer we're streaming for. We've been streaming with over 500 people watching for, I think, yeah, over two hours. It's pretty solid. Do you think ruins will be worth fighting over? Yes, definitely. I do think ruins are worth fighting over. I do think they are worth fighting over. Just unlock Julius. My other legendary is Martel. Which one is better? Um, I mean, it depends on what you're doing. I really like Martel for garrisoning and open field. I think Martel is generally a better invest, but they do come from gold keys, so I probably wouldn't use your universals on him. Um, how were the training points? Really good. The training points were really good. I mean, people have been going really ham. Here is where we ended up. We are in second place right now, and we are working our way toward first, although it feels unlikely to me that we will get first in this stage of the event. I guess we'll see. What's better for attacking barbs, Boudicca or Lohar? Lohar is better sustain. Boudicca is just a better all-around commander. If you don't need experience, then I'm going to say Boudicca is the better pick, though. What's going on? American Rage. Rap store. Hey, Chiskul, I'm currently trying to turn a smaller alliance into a more fighting force, currently using the micromanage style. Do you think it's a good way to get things going? Um, I do think you need to be in the details at the start in order to make sure people understand what's going on. But the most important thing you can do is get your systems of leadership in place, right? So like you can micromanage, but I think you're far better off delegating other people to micromanage specific things that way you don't become sort of the critical stopgap for all things happening in the alliance you empower a whole bunch of other people and then once you do that you can actually focus on the new things that are coming in rather than the day-to-day -day operations of the alliance if that makes sense which are the best epic garrison commanders slam dunk it's going to be sun tzu as one of the best Epic Garrison Commanders. I'll say Pelagius is also really solid. Is going all in on Khan a good idea? I do think it's a fine idea. These days, I would say, first, you should be going all in on a commander like Alexander the Great or Constantine. Um, but yeah, Khan is a fine pick. Khan is definitely a fine pick. Where do you get master blueprints for buildings level 25? Um, you buy those in the shop. I've never seen a way to get them discounted. So you end up buying them over here for 2,000 gems a pop. More than gems is a pretty good event to do that during if you're not in any rush to get some blueprints. I did that spending myself on my restart project. I bought like 10 of them or more during a more than gems event. It's only me, Chiss, or is this the third event? 
is not very good anymore. I feel like it's making a big situation change anymore. And it also costs way more AP than the first stage. Um, I would agree that this stage is maybe less impactful. The thing that is really awesome about these forts is that, like, we should be getting just a boatload of these Marauder encampment loot. And, like, you're going to get a ton of resources and action points out of the deal. Even though everybody's got to spend action points, if your whole alliance is doing this event, like... You wake up after eight hours and you've got like, you know, a hundred plus of the 50 AP pots. It's just amazing. Um, what are the rewards for this stage? This stage is just giving you some speed ups and resources and a teleport and a few gems. Alex or Esong? I would start with Esong, but I think Alex is also a fine choice if your kingdom's pretty old. I missed it. Whatever came of the two teams through the Osiris game, you know, um, I have not seen anything. I have not seen anything come from that. Let's join this rally real quick, and then I'll give a little more context to the question. So the question that was asked is kind of what happened for these two teams in Ark of Osiris League that rather than like actually play the game, they decided that the best thing they would do is try to lose so that they could get a better position on the ladder, um, which I fundamentally disagree with that choice, but I get why they did it because it was in some ways strictly optimal um, for, the, for their teams anyways. If we go to the Ark of Osiris ladder and we look at the schedule, those teams are still on the ladder. They're still here. They're still here, I think. So, wait, was that? No, it was 166. Where are they? All the way up over here. Yeah, they're still on the ladder. And you can see it was a 0-0 tie, which is really weird. Super weird. I don't know. Vasera says we got 500 Oryx, 3 gold keys, 3 to 60 minute training speed ups if we bet on 45 or 166. Interesting. That's weird. At least that's what you got. Huh. All right. Duly noted. Duly noted. You can bridge 100 million deficit and even gain 100 million in several hours with the right strat. But yeah, rip AP. Rip AP. Whew. All right, my friends. I think we're going to head out for now. We had an awesome time chilling with you, rocking these Marauder Forts. I'm surprised at how long it took for these to start to spawn in on our side of the map. They're not even here yet, so we're walking a long-ass way to do these. But this is going to heat up. I'll take these from uh, my couch with uh, probably some tea, hang out with my wife a bit before going to bed. It was fun hanging out with you all for this live stream. Consider dropping a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribing for that sweet daily Rise of Kingdoms content that helps you get value, smash your enemies, and win in Kingdom vs. Kingdom. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom. And thanks again to the folks who rocked a donation, became a member, chatted in the chat, or dropped a like on the video. I will see y'all later. Take care, friends.